welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to rig a complete new model so that it uses the standard ARMA 2 soldier selections. So first you have to get the ARMA 2 example soldier files which is this Russian soldier. And once you have that you will add like a new lot and put your new model in there. So this is a fireman model. I downloaded from Google Warehouse. It's not as much high poly as the Russian soldier, but it will do fine for the rigging tutorial. So once you have that in the lot, you see it's not the proper scale, so you might have to manually adjust it. To do that, don't use this box, but use Control Shift because it's way more easy. So you can see I can adjust it to properly fit the scale. I will cut this out to the first lot and rotate it like this. As you can see it still doesn't fit the shape. We'll have to do that. Okay. Still it's a bit off. I think this should work. And this seems like an okay scale, so he mostly fits the standard model now. The legs, they are a bit more thick, but that's not really a problem. But you gain very many problems if you have, like, this dude, one head higher, taller. So that leads to the animations being very crappy and you get distortion. So scale is very important, especially the height. And once you have done that, adjusted the scale, you will have to look that the arms and the other stuff is in the right positions. So in this example model, I will have to adjust the arm position. And to do that, I Control X again, copy it to my new lot, and I will also go to File, Options, and change the background color, like maybe orange, light red, so I can more easily see the yellow. So the yellow is the original first lot, now I can easily adjust this new model to fit the original lot. course the stuff should not be necessary if you already modeled your new model according to the sample files but here I will just do it hide again so I can get these parts you can also see that it has to fit here And don't worry too much about the hands on the head, because if you have custom hands or head on your model, you probably don't want to use that, but use the ARMA 2 heads. Because it will be a lot of work if you want your custom heads to work, like the facial animations and stuff. Same with the hands. Okay, once I put this into the position, like I want to, like this, and this again. Is this right? Well, it's still not right. Like this. So this is not a very thorough break, but this is like a tutorial to keep you guys starting and to keep some new models in the armor world flowing. Okay. This, uh, these are the hands. I think I'll just get rid of them. So I can use the armor 2 hands. Okay, so while I skipped the video, I adjusted the parts to properly fit better the original model scale. 
like the arms, the shoulder areas and stuff like that. You also see I have some screw up right there on the arm, but I just ignore it for now because it's not really important for the tutorial to work. So once you've done that, so all those parts are aligned, you could have a first look in Bulldozer, like this. So you see all the faces, are, they are turned inside out. This happens most of the time when you import from an object file. So I'll have to inverse the faces again, like this. And see, this looks better. Now I'll apply textures. From, for this, I could use right click here and select an object and then hit the E key, but it doesn't work because the texture is not properly defined. I could also you go to Mass Texture Material Renaming and rename all these textures, but I use the cheap way and hit F2 to select the object again and select this part, this part, this should all be part of the fireman texture I think virtually all, everything here is just the basic fireman body left. Oh no, you see there's two different textures, so I'll use just the body here. Then I apply the fireman body texture, like this. You see it converts to, TG, uh, to PAA. Texture is on this dude. And for the helmet texture, I'll have a look. Wait a second. Okay, well, the texture file for the helmet is the same as the body. I think the original dude who created this model might have done this for different material settings, but I'm not sure. So I'll just use the same texture for all of those parts. Like this, and see it works. Okay, now that the basic model is in place, we can start with the rigging. I set the background color again to white, so this is more clearly. And for the rigging to work, we'll have to take this model and apply different selections, like this is done here. For this Russian soldier, you see that there are different selections for all the parts of the body, like spine, spine one, pelvis, and whatever. So you see there's some you know, selections, a good deal of selections. We'll have to add these to our custom model. And you see that there's some blue and red. And this is pretty easy to explain, but you first have to understand it like hey, let me show you a good example i for example take the right leg yeah, this seems good so i take the right leg and you see the core of the right leg is about this area because it's the most red and follow to the foot it gets more blue and also up it gets more blue what this does is the more blue it gets, the less that part is affected by the animation. Same with the foot. So you want your foot to be partly affected by the right leg selection, but not mainly. For that, you would have to use the right foot. So you can also see the right foot. It does still affect some part of the leg. And this is all done by writing the different parts. You can open up the writing tool with the end key. So you can see I can apply low white or next to zero white or even full white. Oh, see there I added some parts I didn't want to add. I just to uh, deselect this and not save the selection. So once you understand the basics of writing we can start up with doing that on our own model. Okay, now we start with the rigging. 
for the rigging you will have to use uh, the original lots as an example because it's very hard to guess where you have to put the different selections like you could still know this is the foot but when you start up with all those weird selections like left arm roll right leg roll and whatever you will probably lose the overview about all this so what i do to counter this is like i go to window disable the resource library disable let me see the animations the properties so i have more screen space then arrange this again then i move this oxygen to right here and I open up another Oxygen 2 instance, like this. So I ha now have two Oxygen 2 instances with the front view, here the top view. So this will work pretty well because I can now work on the new model and have the original model in here. Like I uh, open up the Soldier Lord here and this one here. Then I see which parts are the left leg, the right leg roll and stuff like that.